all birds trading. Leslie. Hey, Tyler, that's right. Sustainable, sustainably, sustainability, the various iterations mentioned 218 times in Allbirds IPO prospectus. Now, the self-described purpose-driven footwear and apparel company striking an IPO while the trend is hot, sustainability and environmental issues front and center for investors this week, this year, over the last few years, really. But increasingly, fund managers are seeking to look through the eco-friendly branding for clues as to what might actually give them sustainable returns as well as that kind of ESG check the box that they're increasingly required to do. Now, an example of this confusion is when Allbirds disclosed its first S1, calling itself the first, quote, sustainable public equity offering. Essentially, this meant that as a public company, Allbirds would hold itself to rigorous ESG standards from reducing emissions to employee diversity. The company informed investors that its so-called SPO could cost them more, according to the FT. Now, after a brief pause in the process, Allbirds walked back some of those claims, changing the nomenclature, the terminology to be a sustainability principles and objectives framework, still keeping that SPO. Uh, acronym though. Allbirds looking to debut with a $2 billion valuation pricing tonight. That would be at the high end of the range it's been marketing to investors. That equates to about nine times 2020 revenue. Fellow shoemaker Crocs trades around seven times last year's sales with almost the same top line growth rate. So a slight premium for Allbirds, albeit a slightly different business model. Guys. All right. You, uh, one other, let's switch gears here a little bit. You're covering the big move in Avis today and have some new numbers, I'm told, on the short squeeze there. What are, are they? <laughs> it actually kind of ties in a little bit to the Allbirds story because the reason Avis is jumping, of course, is just the hint that they could be purchasing more uh, electric vehicles. Uh, for their fleet. Now, short interest, not every meme stock, and we talk about this as a meme stock, as you can see here, it's doubling today. Not every meme stock is a short squeeze. Avis budget is certainly considered a short squeeze, according to new data from S3 partners. They already had a 100 out of 100 score on their short squeeze metric prior to today's move. Today's move, however, is really hitting short sellers hard uh, with 4.29 billion in mark to market losses just today alone. The year to date mark to market on paper losses is up to about $6 billion for those brave enough to short this stock, guys. Yeah, it can blow up some funds if they're not careful. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Leslie. Leslie Pickett. Yeah.